Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we have a new stack and it's from Hack RC. Now this is a micro stack. It's a 20 by 20 micro stack and it's budget friendly. It's only 45 bucks for both a 20 amp 4-in-1 ESC that's rated up to a 4S which is again 20 by 20 so this is for micros or hyperlight builds and it comes with a flight controller. However the flight controller is an F3 flight controller but that's totally fine. Usually for micros you don't need an F4 anyways. But it is budget friendly. It comes in around $45. They do have an F4 version, which is uh, around a little bit more expensive, around 10 bucks more expensive. And then if you wanted the HGLRC stack, then that's another $10 more expensive. So it'd be 20 bucks more expensive than this. So it all depends on your budget. Now we will be building this and testing this on the drone mesh split same frame. So uh, I already have HDLRC F428 stack in one build, and this will be the second build. And uh, it should be pretty interesting. So let's go ahead and talk about some of the specs. So let's start with the ESC here. Now the ESC is a hack RC. It's a 20 amp, rated up to 20 amps, uh, 2 to 4S LiPo, and it's a BL Heli S, which means it'll run D-Shot uh, 600 as a maximum. It's not a BL Heli 32 ESCs. Uh, now the flight controller is an F3 flight controller. You have your little boot button, you have your USB, and they have the, they, they provide you all the wires you need you know, for your receiver here. So let's go ahead and just check out what are these pads here so everything is labeled on the back side as you can tell right there so it's very difficult for me to see but that, i think that says s bus 5 volt and then i think another 5 volt no so it's s bus 3.3 volts 5 volts in ground and uh it has here the led buzzer and uh ground and another 5 volt and we do have osd so we do have beta flight osd so that's very good to see for such a small board and, you know, the F3 flight controllers and microcontroller units are so small that, that, you know, you could fit a lot more things and do a lot more stuff with them. As you can tell here, look how small that is. Uh, now, the, basically, the normal F4 is as big as the whole board here. So that's why they're able to get away with so much here. And um, what's so cool, this is also noob friendly in a way. Because all you got to do is just connect the flight controller to the ESC like this and you're good. And in the HDLRC F428, it's via pins where you just stack them and you're good to go. Uh, both are good, but you know, pins are obviously cleaner. But um, yeah, this is also nice as well. So it's, it's very nice to see. Uh, the pads look, uh, they look good. They look good. They look like uh, they're not bad. That's, that's for sure. I was trying to see if they're better than the HDLRC, but they're about the same. So overall, it's a pretty nice little stack here for 45 bucks, which is totally upgradable. Um, that's nice to see. So if you didn't like the flight controller, you can go ahead and do that. But uh, overall, it looks it looks nice. It looks good built. Hopefully, this is another hit. You do have some filtration here. But filtration doesn't really matter, especially if you're using the micro motors. So uh, for us, it really doesn't matter. They give you with all the wires you need here, so you don't have to worry about anything. And they even give you... They don't give you an XT30 or JST, but they do give you your silicone wires for the... Uh, for your ESC so you can provide it power and a bunch of uh, standoffs, nylon standoffs, tiny nylon standoffs. So it's very nice to see here. Uh, the, the wires are all silicone. That's very good. I really do like that. That's one thing. And we will be building it in one of the next four uh, videos here. We're going to be building it on the drone mesh split sane. It's going to be pretty nice. Uh, it's going to be pretty crazy here. So yeah. And if you don't know anything about drone mesh split sane, it's only a limited frame. Only just made a couple. So there's only like a couple left now. If you want to go ahead and check them out, I'll leave a link down below. Um, and go ahead and uh, yeah, you could pick one up because uh, I'm not going to possibly be making any more of these. These are just limited quantity, limited edition. And um, yeah. So yeah, uh, I'll be building it on the uh, drone mesh here, the drone mesh split sane, the DM split sane frame. It's a, it's, it should be pretty good. This is going to be a testing platform for uh, micro motors. Uh, propellers, ESCs, and just components. Like we have the Cadex. This is the fastest camera so far I've ever tested in latency wise. Four point something milliseconds or three point something. It's pretty, and this one is just crazy, crazy. So that's very nice. And um, overall, that's really it, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I have a couple ideas and a couple plans for the channel, and uh, that'll be upcoming in a different video. But overall, this flight controller is uh, it's pretty good. Uh, looking at it, the quality looks pretty good, but I, I still can't say much until we actually go ahead and test it out in the field. And it should be a very simple and quick build. Uh, all we got to do basically here is just receiver, camera, VTX, and um, 
that's it. Receiver camera VTX, that's it. And plug the wires in, we're good to go. So it's, it's very nice. I really like these. They're just really helpful because wiring a bunch of small wires to these little flight controllers can be a little daunting, especially if you don't have nice, expensive silicone wires. Well, not really expensive, but good silicone small wire gauge uh, to help you out. It'll, it'll just be an absolute mess. So overall, seems like a good little budget purchase. Can't say much until we test it. And that's going to conclude it for this video, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please consider joining my Patreon. I do a lot of awesome giveaways and really support the channel. And um, if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And don't forget to check out my application and the website. I do awesome things there. Sometimes I sell, sell some of my quads for absolutely cheap. Sometimes I sell some of the things, some of my things for absolutely cheap and stuff. And um, yeah, it's another way to support the channel. And um, yeah, that's it, guys. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.